so I gotta be a little quiet because I'm talking about something that's happening at the park right now. The kids at the park were playing this game where one group was capturing another group and bringing them somewhere and then that group would break out and just kind of carry on. And as you can imagine, there was a physical element to this. Kids were being kind of brought by the hand or brought by the shirt. But the important part is that the kids had figured out independently, without grown-ups, boundaries that made the kids comfortable. And I know this because I'm incredibly vigilant at the park, even though I don't usually get involved. But after a while, another parent came over and inserted herself and said, you know, hey, we're not going to grab people. We're not going to hold people's shirts. And the game subsequently immediately ended. And that was fine. It had gone on as long as it needed to go. But here's a couple things that I wanted to mention about that. Number one, this type of play, play that we might consider rough or physical, is actually really good for establishing boundaries between kids. Play like this has been linked to the development of confidence and relationships. And so when we just immediately take that away because we're made uncomfortable by it, we rob our kids of that. Number two, every time we insert ourselves and take control over a situation, we rob our kids of an opportunity to problem solve. Now, her kid was not uncomfortable with this situation. He was one of the main actors in this. But if he had been uncomfortable, the right move here is to pull him aside individually and say, hey, how can you express to the rest of the group that you're not comfortable with the way that we're doing this game? Now, maybe there's something I don't know about their family, and really this was a necessary thing for her to stop. So I don't want to judge her for that, and I'm not judging her. I'm just giving my observation. Number three, and this is the big one. We need to ask whether what's going on is making our kids uncomfortable or whether it's making us uncomfortable. It's perfectly okay for things to make you uncomfortable. That doesn't make you a bad person. But when you take parenting actions, make sure that you're clear. You're doing it for you, not for them. 